welcome to my art channel. Today we're going to be doing a small art haul unboxing and review for you guys. So I just want to say that none of this is sponsored. I bought all of this stuff with my own money. Um, some of this was bought a month ago that just came in due to COVID-19. Some of it just came in within about a week. All right, so the first thing we have is this. box is a little dented, but it did come all the way from China, so. Alright. These are the parts for it to, like, for the thing to hold it up, um, so it can be, like, suspended in air there's a little table. Here's all the extra pieces that I was talking about. It comes with like a cell phone. Play around with. Let's see. Oh, okay. This tells a little bit about it. It's really hard to kind of move the joints, I guess, because they've been stuck. They've not been moved around. Oh, oh okay. What? Uh, mm -hmm. just seems like cheap plastic it seems to the legs seem to keep wanting to kind of pop off really easily which is kind of concerning to me I spent I think somewhere around $32 on this I don't know that I would recommend it but things do tend to really want to stick together and I don't know how that's gonna work in the long run. I don't know how changing the hands are going to work. So whenever I do like a little, <laughs> that's my cat Jasmine, <laughs> she's wanting to go outside. Um, so yeah, if you hear her, that's just her in the background. She's a little black one walking around. All right, so up next we have the Blick box from Dick Blick. All right, let's open up and see what's in there. This is a set of Holbein acrylic wash. I have some already, but I wanted some different colors. So this is a burnt umber.
wanted to try out some Daniel Smith's extra fine watercolors, but I didn't want to buy any colors and then not like them. This is actually a pretty good little, little sample set for me to try out. So that's got everything unboxed and my first impressions. I'm really excited about the Daniel Smith watercolors and I'm excited to experiment, experiment a little bit more with the acrylic gouache. Uh, so yeah, now to work up a sketch and test them all out. All right, so let's get into it. did sketch it out just to make it a little bit easier on myself. I've bordered it off a little bit. So now we're ready to get into it, the painting. Thank you. 
today was painting day. So I tested out everything except for this little figurine that I got here. I didn't really use her because as you can see, the leg I was never able to keep on. So like I said, I spent about $32 on it and it came in a month after I paid for it, which granted we do have a pandemic going on. So I kind of give it a little leeway due to that. Um, but as far as the quality goes, I don't think that it's worth spending your money on. I would say either just use photo references or go out and get the wooden ones if you want to use one. Um, those would probably be better bang for your buck. Used the Viridian acrylic wash. This actually seemed a little patchy to me. It could just be the color because I used other acrylic washes like this lavender one here for like the highlights and stuff on the skull and it was really opaque so it could just be the color. I didn't do a whole lot of research going into it like I probably should have. I just assumed it's going to be a dark color. It's going to be very opaque but I just kind of went over everything a second pass if it needed it. For the Daniel Smith watercolor sheets. I tried out a lot of the kind of pearlescent ones. The browns, almost all of the browns, oddly enough, are granulating, which is really interesting to me. So those are really fun to kind of use. I've never really used granulating watercolors before. I used quite a few of the yellows and oranges for the leaves. Those were all really beautiful colors. I really enjoyed those. I tried out some of the greens and blues and I really liked those as well. Pretty much all in all the Daniel Smith watercolors I really really liked. I can see why they're such expensive watercolors because they're really good quality. I'm glad I got the sheets instead of just buying individual colors. If you are new to watercolors I would recommend just starting out with something simple and then once you level up your skills probably going up to the Daniel Smith watercolors. If you are wanting to try the Daniel Smith watercolors I highly recommend getting the sheets instead of spending a lot of money and not knowing what colors you're going to like and not like. Um, I will definitely be using the sheets for future stuff. So yeah that is it for this unboxing art haul slash review. I hope you guys liked the piece that I made for this little project and if you liked the video and you would like me to do more videos like this make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and don't forget if you want to get notified on when I post videos which will normally be every Tuesday and Friday as of right now that could change in the future. This week just took a little longer for me to video all of this so it's just a Friday video sorry guys don't hate me and so yeah if you want to get notified on when I post videos hit the notification button all right see you guys bye